guys our first look. $28 DIY t-shirt box, 25 t-shirts. Paper. Ta-da! And this is from, where's this from? Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. I think this might be one of the first things I've gotten from Mechanicsburg. So hopefully it's good. Hey guys, it is Dollar Dr. Jennifer and we are here with another thrown out box. I'm not sure if this is a good idea or a bad idea, but here we are. I've been wanting this box since the beginning. I knew it was a big risk. I think I only ended up paying out of pocket about $11 for this box. I had some credits, so that paid for most of it. But I did get the t-shirt box. It's 25 t-shirts for $28 plus shipping. I, like I said, I think I paid about $11 or so for it. But let's check out what we got. Uh, I have looked already, but, and I've listed a couple of them. I can hopefully make my money back on this box. <laughs> we'll see. Let me know in the comments what you think. Definitely subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in anything, hit me up on Instagram or my email, which is down below, and we will make a deal. <laughs> but let us get into this haul for this thread up rescue box, t-shirt box. First, we have a canvas, Bella canvas, size small. And it's a little cropped pink shirt and it just says, I literally cannot. <laughs> and it's like a pink, but it also has like a gray heathering to it. Cute little crop top. I do think this is one of the ones I've already listed in my Poshmark. None of them have sold yet, I will say that. So this one, uh, I didn't know what it was. You can tell, like, you can hardly see the tag, uh, but it is Grayson, what was it, Grayson Threads, I think. And I think it's a size small as well, but it's an oversized small. It's a little cropped as well. It's supposed to be a pajama shirt, and it says, be the good. It's like a blue gray color. It's really soft and comfy feeling. Um, this one is listed as well already. This one is J. Crew. It's probably one of the better shirts I got. <laughs> it's a, it's one of their collector tees and it's a size large. It's a burnout kind of fabric and it says vacay on it. Oops. Uh, in pink and yellow. This is already listed as well. Like I said, this one is probably one of the better ones. I do think that some people do collect these um, J. Crew collector tees. So, fingers crossed. This was my favorite, but then I found flaws. This is T Turtle, and I love T Turtle shirts. It's a size small. And this is like an online store. It's a panda. And it said, I can't adult today. And I love this shirt, but where is it? It definitely had some like bleach staining to it already. So I am going to completely bleach it. There's another little area. So as unfortunate because I think this one would have sold really well if it didn't have issues but hopefully bleached it'll still do well because it's really funny. Uh, this one is already listed. The brand is Soprano, and I forget what size it is. I wanna say medium. Let's see. Oh, it's a large 14, so it's like junior sizing large. But it's really cute, it's got a shark bite hem. It says hi on the front with a heart little shark bite hem and then on the back it says bye so it's super soft and comfy really cute shirt I did I think I don't know if I put measurements on that one or not but it is definitely like a small size large this is another really good one I wish it was a bigger size this is Led Zeppelin size small 
This is probably my favorite graphic that I got. It's a really cool Led Zeppelin graphic. And it says US Tour 1975, but it is not a vintage shirt. It is double stitch. And I wanna say there was a date on here, 2020. So this is a newer shirt actually. And it's in pretty good condition. I think it was just like had some little like spots on it. And I think I put that in the listing because this one is already listed, but there's just like these little tiny spots. So, but the graphic is really cool on it. Very colorful. I think those are all the ones that I've listed already, except for that panda one. I haven't listed that one because it's got flaws. This is a very important T district size small. As you're noticing, the sizing is very small in this box. And it's Fleetwoods Maui. I think it's like a bar or something. And it's a V-neck shirt. So I don't expect to get a ton for this. I know it's supposed to be like, it's reminiscent of Fleetwood Mac, but it's not, it's I'm assuming a bar or something. This is Aeropostal Extra Small. I wish some of these had been bigger sizes. I think they would have done better, but it's just like a spell out and it's like that, it's like a patch and yeah, it's just a gray shirt with the spell out on it. Yeah. <laughs> this is looks new. It is new era. So I've done well with new era in the past. It's a size small. And it's what is this one? All Rise Aaron Judge, New York for the 99, I don't know. Is this Mets? Is this the New York Mets? <laughs> but it does still have like the sticker on it. The size small sticker. So I would say it's new without, I don't know, new with tag or new without tags. One of the two. It's like a navy shirt. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to figure out who that is. <laughs> This is Gildan, size large. Finally, something that's a little bit larger. And this is like a galaxy type print, but it looks... Okay, I'm just gonna say it, guys. It looks phallic. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, it's a little interesting, this middle part. I don't know what's going on there exactly. But I will just call this a celestial shirt, I guess. I don't really know what this is. So if you know, put it down in the comments below. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I, I see it. I see it how I see it. <laughs> this one is another one that the tag seems to be mostly gone. I don't know if I'm able to see anything at all now. It's Cape Cod Lobster Co got a lobster on the front and then a logo on the back. I don't know about this one. I'm always surprised what ends up selling, but I don't know, like I'll be looking for you at like $5 for that one. I do love the graphic on this. It is trade winds size medium. It's not single stitch or anything, but it does look older. It says Party Hard Cafe Aruba on it, and it's got like this duck. It looks very 80s to me. And he's got a drink. I just like the graphic. I think it's pretty funny. Uh, I would say this one would sell based on graphic alone. This is another one that's probably a graphic one that would. This is Port and Company, size medium. And it's a wolf, or no, it's a dog in a moon like on a cliff and this looks like like a whippet or greyhound probably so 
I'll definitely use those keywords. Definitely a woman's shirt. It's got that fitted look. So maybe some Whip It mom wants that. Um, this is Live and Tell. Never heard of that. And it's a size ladies medium, which means it's fitted. But that's the tag. And it says, still sore, but back for more. So workout little t-shirt. Cute little workout t-shirt for someone, not me. <laughs> this is Love Tribe, size small. I do wish there were like, there are so many smalls and extra smalls in this box. And this is a Coke shirt, but it is orange. So that's weird. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to look up this shirt and see if it's anything. I haven't heard of Love Tribe before, but it's a nice Coke shirt. There's always Coke fans. I'm a Coke fan. So this is Lucky Brand. This one might do well. It is an extra large. I would say this is men's. Usually my Lucky Brand men's stuff does pretty well. And it's just a graphic t-shirt. I don't remember what's on it. Rock and roll circus or something. It's kind of faded. It might come out actually better with the lights. So this one I would expect at least 15 for with the faded graphic. If it didn't have fading, I'd expect a little bit more, but I'll probably list it at 25 and take offers. That's what I tend to do for stuff like that. This was actually, could be a good one, but again, it's like a size medium, but it's a small medium. It's next level. And it's got, it just says Lizzo on the front in really pretty colors. And then 100% that B on the back. So you know someone's gonna love this shirt for reals. So that one will definitely sell, I bet. This is a neon yellow, just Gildan shirt, size youth large. So I might take this to buy, sell, trade. Cause I don't think this is gonna sell. It's just a plain neon yellow shirt, but it is new with sticker. I don't know, we'll see. I'm probably not gonna waste my time listing that one. This is a NFL team apparel size medium and it's a Pittsburgh Steelers shirt, varsity style with the little stripes. Nice graphic. This looks pretty new looking. This is a nice one. Definitely a lot of Steelers fans out there. So I think that one will definitely sell. And then I got some LuLaRoe. I mean, come on guys. This is not a t-shirt. The size extra small. So again, like, but it's a, oh gosh, what is this shirt? Is this a classic? Or is this the perfect? I think this is the perfect tee, if I'm not mistaken. It's got like a little bit of a flare high-low to it. It is a cute pattern. It's like purple. Uh, so this might sell. I've been having a little bit of luck with LuLaRoe. Uh, not in that small size though. Most of my stuff has been larger sizes that's doing well. Uh, this is Port & Company, size medium. And it's like a tan gray color. And it's a hole. It has a hole. <laughs> and there's like an airplane and then like a dude skydiving. There's a bunch of holes. I don't think I'll probably list this one. I want to because I'm sure there's someone that would still buy it. But I don't know if I want to waste my time with it. With the holes on the front and the back. I mean they're not huge but... They're there. There's a hole there. And there's a hole here. Yeah, so if you're interested in this shirt, I'll give you like it really cheap. <laughs> it's kind of fun. I mean, there's a skydiver and there's the plane leaving him, but 
yeah, that's that holes. I know some people will buy shirts with holes, but I don't know if it's worth my time. This is made for you, mom. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and it's just like a blouse, very small blouse. Definitely not a size of medium. What size? Do it have a size? I don't see a size. Hold on. Uh, it doesn't even have a size. I don't think. Nope. So I would say this is definitely like an extra small, probably. It's a really pretty color, but again, it's not a graphic shirt. So I'm feeling I'm feeling Gen uh, Thrift Generations pain right now in that respect. This is Time and True, which is Walmart, size small. It's a oversized, uh, a little bit of a high-low t-shirt, tie-dye blue. It's a cute style, um, but it won't get much. It'll maybe $10 if I'm lucky. It is very soft, so I don't know. I'll probably list it. This is H&M Divided, size extra small. And it's just a purple little top with a pocket. It's like a plum, like a dark plum color. I don't know if it's coming out there or not. Uh, I mean, it looks okay. I mean, some of these I might take to buy, sell, trade. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be worth my time listing some of these. Or if I do list them. I'll give them like a month and then take them somewhere else. And last shirt is J Crew 365, size medium. And it's another just plain shirt, black. Nothing to write home about. It's very soft though. What's it made out of? It is 88% modal and 12% elastane. And it is from fall of 2018. So very stretchy. <laughs> I don't know. I will probably list J. Crew because there's a lot of people that like J. Crew. I don't think I can really bleach this or anything. I don't think modal and stuff will bleach well. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. 25 exactly. Uh, it was all right. I think I can definitely make my $11 back. I don't know if I've paid full price, uh, if I'd be happy or not, but <sighs> hi, Rave. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. It's about to get earthquakey because Rave just entered the room. But I don't know. I mean, there's a couple of really good ones that hopefully will bring money. And then there's a couple that I may just redonate because it's probably not worth my time. Oh, well, that is what happens. But I am glad I got this box. It kind of gets the bug out of me. <laughs> so I don't really want another one now. <laughs> I think for my money, well, technically my credits, I am going to stick with doing the scrap fabric box. That seems to have done the best for me. I'm really sorry about the camera shaking. Uh, that is Rave going in and out of the tripod. Anyway, that is our haul. Again, thank you for joining me. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this type of content. And I've got a couple of boxes that one I've already sent to thread up and then I'm going to be sending a second one. So in a couple of months, I'll have credits again so I can get another box because the first box that's already there isn't going to be sorted till like September at the earliest. So, and you know, they like to push those dates back. But anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day and I will see you next time. And as always, remember to help control the pet population and have your pets spayed or neutered. Thank you. Bye.